Hunting gives us access to some extraordinary terrain, landscapes and permissions. On our trip to Aberdeenshire, Sergio Couto shows us some of the delights of his roast stalking grounds. From beaches to forest to farmland. And today we are visiting all of them to showcase the flexibility of Paul's favourite round, the 22250. In Scotland it's a legal calibre for roe deer, so we're looking at a multi-location, multi-species sort of day. Paul. David. 22250. Sell it to me. Why do you love the 22250? Um, it is very accurate. Not much recoil. Quite versatile. Deadly. Oh. And flat. So these soft nose we use on the uh, Robux. And being honest, you can shoot you know, down with us. You, we, we shoot Chinese water deer, munch jack, fox. We do quite a lot of vermin, as you've seen before, with the squirrels, the varmints. Yeah, long distance rabbits when you can't get to them, crows, magpies are a bit of a problem where you can't catch them. It's quite an aggressive calibre, it burns a barrel out, but do you know what? I love it. I love it. And obviously up here, you can shoot roe deer with it with a 55 grain soft nosed bullet. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Up here, it's perfect for me. <laughs> Don't show this to the ice, but they'll be alright. <laughs> First up, Paul wants to check zero and has a cheeky little trick up his sleeve. Yeah, you're leaving too cool. Alright, then he said. Yeah, not bad. We're gonna go anywhere. Did I get him? Sorry, that technique of using the binos is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. I mean I know bipods get expensive, but that is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah that's uh, versatility when you want minimal uh, equipment to take with you. <laughs> I do actually use it quite a bit, especially with my um, 15 pounds, they're a little bit bigger, so it gives you a little bit more height. Oh, really? So once you had a look, stick them down and pew! <laughs> so we've got people coming to the shop saying, yeah, can I have the uh, nice bipod? Yep. <laughs> it's a tool, David, and it's, uh, you know, versatility is the name of this game. He is happy, so let's start with the beach. It's not exactly a speedos sort of day, but what a fantastic spot to hunt. The previous evening we had indeed encountered a buck on the dunes, but the wind wasn't in our favour and it was off towards the oil refinery. It's classic, isn't it? It's like, yeah, we see Robux on here now and again. And there he was. One of the problems that I have here is they dig a lot into the, the sand dunes. Oh, right. So erosion. erosion, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be nice to take a, a rabbit or so. For us to cook tomorrow with a fire or something like that. Yeah, we give it a go. So we do, there is a lot of there is a lot of rabbits here. Yeah, uh, and they tend to go to the grazing grounds, but they they actually sleep, stay in the dunes. Yeah, we've been in the past with ferrets and stuff, but the boy was saying that yes, they sleep in the dunes and they go out at night to the grazing Co fields. Yeah, yeah. Which is we cannot shoot them in the dunes. We cannot just cannot see them. Yeah. There's some spe something special anyway. Yeah. Different. To get the angle on this one, Paul manoeuvres the Saku 85 stainless. See him, David? Yeah. Left handed shot here, boys. Left handed shoulder, they call me. <laughs> Left hander. Practice that. Huh? Do you practice that? No, no I didn't. No, do you practice? Like oh yeah, 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 do. <laughs> well, when when we had a when we had a gift that you had a gift. <laughs> hey, the water. <laughs> Sergio tries to call some out. It works, and Paul takes another bunnies for brunch. Serge called that in. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. Good job, Serge. We might have to have a bit of a um, call off because obviously you're pretty good at the Robux. Uh -huh. You did a pigeon a second ago. We have to have a bit of a collar dog. I can call you a collar dog. Collar dog, is it? So we might have to have a bit of a animal impersonation off. Can <laughs> <laughs> you dance at the same time? Well, what about that? I can wobble. <laughs> I don't say dance, but I can wobble. <laughs> Are they salty? The rabbits. It's already seasoned. Just need a bit of pepper. <laughs> She's already dead. Next stop is a sheep farm. There are two ewes down. One is alive. This one is not, with evidence of Covid attack. Time to put the 22250 to work on some foxing or a long range crow. 
That is a good shot. That is a good shot. A crow <laughs> it is. Thanks, Serge. I'll take that from you. Where were you on that one? Two inches above it. 22,250 power, isn't it? How far, Serge? 226. Our final stop is farmland where Sergio has witnessed the comings and goings of some decent bucks while he's been stalking with other clients. Benson. Mm. Mm -hmm. Might not there. Made by the fair man himself. Right. Sweet chili. Mm. It's, not, it's not that spicy though. Not quite we encounter a young buck en route. Sergio needs to manage the situation to stop it heading back and disturbing the animals we are hoping to get onto. Giving it a wide berth works. Nice young six pointer, probably be better next year, so let him grow on a bit and uh, salty so don't. Basically, just scoot out in the field and he come back down this plantation so he didn't go at the top and spook his deer that possibly come out of this plantation as mature uh, forestry. Okay. So that was the plan. So he manipulated the situation by. Yeah, just go out into the field, give it a space so the buck can run back past us. Cool. So, yeah, good plan, Serge. <laughs> so, what happened here is there is two groups. There is some that come direct into this field. Yeah. They also said there is some that come in and they're gonna, gonna go down that tree line. Okay, yeah. And they, they tend to go pretty fast. There's two bucks that tend to go pretty fast and they go, they go, they go and they end up in the bottom where they come from. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, they just follow that way. So instead of us hoping and then make the move when they are out, we're gonna go a bit further down where the, 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 there's a wee slope. Yeah. Down, and it will be better. Yeah. Shelter from the wind as well. Yeah, yeah, cool idea. <laughs> cold wind. <laughs> it is cold. So. Cold. Lovely in May up here, isn't it? Yes. End of May, yes. yeah. 10 degrees. Unbelievable, isn't it? Everything's yeah, just crazy. held back. We, it is we, cold. We, we, we had a lot of snow beginning of May. We had white. Really? Uh, yes, it was absolutely covering snow. Everything's so slow this year. Look at the trees, so yeah, behind. We, we are a lot behind the interview guys. Are yeah, yeah, yeah. Always are. Yeah. The rut is behind. So you can do, you can do the rut in your place and come back instead oh, right. of the rut here. Yeah. Yeah, it's when, when are you then? Uh, last July, beginning of August. Yeah, it's about the same, really. All right, but yeah. he's all, I always see the posts. People. Yeah, but get everyone gets excited early, doesn't they? Yeah. Well, good. Come so the thermals on. We'll be all right. Yeah, the thermals on. Yeah, good. For a change, this will be a waiting game. Sergio says things will happen at twenty-one thirty hours. He said half nine. Yeah. Yes. Half nine. David? Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pressure is on there. Well done, sir. Five Great minutes stuff. late. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. I want to see it. Where's the, where's the phone? You said 9.30. <laughs> he didn't come to us though, we went to him. Hey, not have the cake and eat it. <laughs> well done.
Very good. Very good. Yeah, exhilarating. Yeah, yeah. We could have got. To be honest, with you, what was he? One hundred eighty something to start with, was he? Right, to start with, one hundred six. Yeah. And do you know what? Yeah, I could have shot him from there, possibly. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, why not make sure? It, we could have pushed it further. Yeah. No. She, she, she was on this. Yeah. She was on to it. Yeah, but she's went away. Yeah. It, it, yeah. 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 So that, that was good. So getting a few more, to get a few more more yards on him, a few more meters in him, just one to five, make sure. One five five. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Excellent. Good finish. For the coldness. It's not, it's not, it's not a massive. Bottle. No, it's it, nice it seems, though. It seems old. I think it could be just a four point. I don't know. It looks quirky. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Clean off a little bit. Oh yeah, huh? New, isn't he? He's thick, isn't he? Yeah. Character, isn't he? Oh, He's ripped here as well. Ripped old fighter. Ear. And the twenty-two to fifty did the job. Yeah. Just. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Lovely. It has been several days packed into one, and as a fellow deer manager, Paul knows how hard roe stalking guides have to work. The trouble is here, it's just such, with roe deer in general, anyone that does a lot of roe deer, I take my hat off to them because they're basically starting at 3 30, 4 o'clock to get out, especially if they've got to travel, and then they're finishing at last knocking. What time now? We are 10 o'clock all but, taking it back, it's going to be back 11 o'clock. Then you've got to get yourself sorted out, ready for the next morning. So you're hitting bed about 12 o'clock, so you've got like three and a half, four hours sleep. You don't sleep too well, you know you've got to get up, you don't want to miss the alarm clock. So doing that four or five days on the trot, you earn your money. <laughs> <laughs> don't you? It's not, it's not a, dream, a dream job like it, many people think. Yeah. <laughs> and when it's raining as well, when it's raining and blowing and windy. If you have a client coming from abroad, or have you booked, Month and month in advance. Yeah. If it's rain or snow, whatever it yeah. is, yeah. you have to take them out anyway. Yeah. But uh, and you expect you to to produce. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. yeah. But it's great. It's and good. you have done. Good. Yeah. Exactly. Let's go have something to eat because I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to stalk Roe with Sergio, go to circuitwildharvest.com. And for more information about Sacco rifles, go to sacco.fi. Plus, you can find Paul Childerly on Instagram and Facebook links in the description below.